I was like born into a ski family. I was on skis when I was like, two years old. We actually moved from California to Illinois, and Illinois has no mountains. So my mom was like, how do I get my kids into a sport so they can meet other kids? And hockey came about. As soon as I stepped foot on the ice, we would earn these little buttons as soon as we could skate across the ice sheet. And I was obsessed with collecting all these little buttons. I wanted my skates filled with the buttons. <laughs> so I just kept coming back and back and back. And then all of a sudden, I see the older kids carrying in these big hockey bags and the sticks. And I said, I want to do that. That's how I got a nice hockey. When I was younger, the hockey world was not the kindest. Being the only girl in sort of a male-dominated sport was very difficult. I had teammates bully me, teammates' parents bully me, opposing team bully me. I'm kind of lucky that I had a strong mom because she was hearing all these things and she was just, you know, don't worry about it. Go out there, have fun, bust your butt. You know, I was targeted numerous times, just go get that girl. So I actually cut my hair super short so they wouldn't be able to tell. Because I just want to play hockey. I think it helps me be the person I am today and know that how much impact we can have on the next generation. I remember being asked to gain weight for the last Olympics, just messing around on Twitter, you know, posting my weights. And people were like, oh my gosh, like she's posting her weight and she wants to get heavier. Receiving the response that I got was incredible. So when I showed up to a meeting, I didn't want to wear a sleeveless top. Someone's like, no, like wear the sleeveless top, like you look great. And the first thing the woman said to me when I walked in the room was, oh my gosh, what do you do for an arm workout? It's like, oh, like ding, ding, ding. We can't be ashamed of who we are, what our bodies look like. Going through an experience where I'm putting on a lot of muscle weight and thinking, oh my gosh, my shoulders or my arms are a lot bigger than the average person. Well, duh, I'm trying to train for the Olympics, but you know, I think about that retrospectively, but in the moment, I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't want to wear this. I look a little bit too wide or too masculine. You know, having those comments, it just, you know, what do you do for your arm workout? It just changed my life right then and there.